Um, good, good morning to everyone. Welcome back to the second day of our webinar talk series. Uh, I think due to the flooding, um, there won't be as many participants today. And I hope everyone's doing okay. Um, for those who are new uh, at our exhibition, uh, I would like to give you a warm welcome to, to all of you uh, to join our Taylor's University Final Year Interior Architecture Exhibition Seminar. Uh, Curio Effects. Uh, my name is Leon, and I'll be ho your host today. Uh, we, are ex we are excited to be hosting all of you, and thank you for registering with us. Today is our second day of our um, special talk series, and today we have uh, two special guests, um, Mr. Ching Kia Kin and IDR Dr. Chan, uh, Joe Chan. Um, who have been kind enough to share their knowledge and experience in a, their specific areas of expertise. Uh, I hope that all of you enjoy this session and get some valuable uh, lessons out of these sessions. Um, so without further ado, we are thrilled to introduce uh, Mr. Chia Kia Kin. Um, just to give you a brief background about uh, Mr. Uh, Chia Kia Kin. He's a Malaysian artist um, who is known by, by his distinctive and energetic drawings, styles, and is one of the biggest names in urban sketching today. Um, although Mr. Kia Kin, uh, although Mr. Kia Kin is a, was trained as an architect at a university, he was, he was exhibiting all over the countries, uh, such as Malaysia, Taiwan, Italy, and has published several books with collections of his sketches, which were a big hit and sold successfully. Mr. Kiakin has also held his first solo exhibition back in 2000. So let's give a big welcome to our guest speaker seminar, Mr. Chan Kiakin known to many as KK, to give a personal topic on my art sketching journey. Hello, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yes, we can, yes, we can. Ah, but I have some problem with my camera, so I couldn't turn on my camera. Okay. Uh, but never mind, I will start uh, with my uh, slide sharing. Okay. Right now. Okay. Yeah, first of all, uh, thanks for inviting me to this webinar and uh, congratulations to all of you, uh, graduate students. Yeah. Uh, for today, this uh, my topic is called. Uh, my art and uh, sketching journey. Uh, basically, it's uh, not a serious topic. Uh, it's, a, it's my story and uh, I want to share with you all. Hmm. Uh, you can ask a uh, question or Yeah, during the sharing. Yeah, okay. My many many people don't know how to pro pronounce my name. Uh, my name is Chung. Uh, pronoun is uh, Chung Kia Kian, or many people know me as KK. I'm currently a, a member of Urban Sketches Penang. Okay, I, I took this picture on a trip uh, to Bangkok. Uh, by train. Uh, this is the logo uh, printed on the screen of uh, the mirror, uh, sorry, the, uh, on the train, the window on the train. So I find it is uh, it's a very interesting photo. So basically, it's, uh, I, I would like to share uh, my experience, how uh, I'm from a student uh, to become an I study architecture, and I, after my graduation, I worked a very short time as an 
uh, design architect and I go into heritage architecture re research, uh, mostly on Chinese, traditional Chinese architecture. And then I set up my own uh, graphic design firm and I joined Urban Sketches. And until today, uh, I'm a full-time artist. So you can see that uh, my path is not uh, straightforward. I go through many, many funny things that I think is uh, one of the is a fun memory or good memory in my life. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is me when I am small. I think it's very cute. Uh, I was born in the year of tiger. So next year, I'm 48 become old man already. Uh, if you follow me on my Instagram or my Facebook, I always have this uh, icon. So basically this is a, a cloth tiger that I sketch. Okay, then I also have a chalk uh, like this. This is a motif of a tiger. So I always use this chalk as a, together with my signature in my sketch. This is my Chinese name. If you know Mandarin, uh, okay, the pronoun is Zhuang Jia Qiang. The last uh, character means strong. And uh, this is my English name. Uh, I am a Teochew. Uh, so my surname has a apostrophe, uh, which is a Teochew dialect. Uh, I think uh, in Malaysia or uh, we, we have different uh, ethnic group and different culture. We come from different culture background. So this is something special that uh, no, uh, to me, like no other place uh, you can find this. Okay, I grew up in Georgetown in a heritage site, uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, this is uh, my old house. Uh, the location is in uh, one of the five clan uh, the Hokkien clan temple in Penang. Uh, this clan is called Sai Tan God, is a, with the surname Tan. Uh, but due to the pandemic, uh, my family, uh, my parents actually moved out from this area uh, last month. So we no longer stay there. But I grew up there uh, until, uh, so I, uh, I stayed there for about 20 years until I, I have my, my, my own place to stay. Okay. I love art since uh, I was very small. I still remember my, my mom keep this uh, drawing for me. Uh, if not mistaken, is uh, during my six years old. Yeah, I, I copy from a, mag a China, uh, China magazine, this uh, cartoon. Oh, so it's a monkey king and the cha fighting. Okay. After uh, my childhood time, then I go to school. I have to mention this because I have uh, a lot of influence or I, uh, when I study in this uh, Zhongling High School. Uh, I'm from a Mandarin uh, cultural back background. So I'm Chinese educated. And uh, when in my high school time, I actively participate in the art society. So this is uh, my very early painting, uh, an impression of my high school. And I love uh, watercolor during that, uh, that time. I became the chairman of the art society in 1991. And at that time, uh, we actively uh, hold exhibition, uh, I mean, uh, in the school and doing a lot of sketch. Uh, if you are from Chongling High School or you have been there, uh, this is a place that all the students will go every day, it's the toilet. I sit there almost uh, two hours to do this. But uh, now they renovate, it's very new now. Uh, I would say we are very fortunate that uh, although the school is uh, not a very 
our society is not a very big, but we have uh, many uh, facility to learn art. Like for example, this corner is a corner to do uh, clay, clay, sorry, and pottery. Then uh, sometimes they also invite me to do illustration uh, for school magazine or school publication. And I also participate a lot in uh, the art competition. Okay, like many of the high school students, after your high school, uh, you, you would have to make the, your very first choice what, where do you want to go? Uh, what do you want to uh, study uh, at, or in the university? So at that time, uh, my dream, my dreams always is art. I want to be an artist. I know I, I can be an artist one day. So I, I imagine that I have a studio. I will have something like this. Oh, my very impression, a very uh, old studio. And you, you can see uh, the painting on the uh, right hand side. Right? At the time, uh, a lot of influence from Picasso uh, and the Blue Period. But finally, I have uh, this my studio right now. Uh, so, this is uh, my current uh, art studio. After so many years, uh, one of my dreams come true. Okay. Actually, I, before I studied from six, I went to KL to study graphic design for a very short time, but I'm not get used to the, uh, the life in KL. Then I returned uh, to Penang again and continue with my uh, form six. At that time, uh, we, in the high school, you don't have much choice. Either you, uh, most of the, Topic or uh, most of the subject is uh, science. So either you can choose uh, biology or, or technical things. And I choose uh, biology. I have some interest uh, in about fish and marine biology. So, but uh, my science subject are not very good. It's so so. So at that, at that time, I convert the, what I am studied into an abstract painting. So this is uh, the bio microorganism of biology. Until uh, many years, this is uh, about uh, four or five years back when I have a trip to Paris, I visited the natural uh, science history and I, very I was very impressed uh, with all these uh, biology things. And I started to pick up uh, the study biology and convert into my sketching sketches. Okay, then after form six, I, my result is middle. So, but I managed to get into a uh, university, Science Malaysia. Uh, at first I, I was, uh, they placed me in uh, biological science, but uh, I'm very fortunate. I have a chance to, uh, uh, to choose again. So uh, then I'm lucky to uh, study uh, housing, building, and planning as my first degree. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, my high university uh, made during that time. Uh, actually, we, we are architectural batch. So after the first degree, I continue uh, with my second degree as an uh, architecture. Okay, uh, those are, was my thesis project. I, as you know, I'm very interested in art. So my thesis project actually is a Penang Art Gallery. At that time, you can see uh, all hand-drawn. This is uh, the, the draft design, uh, hand-drawn on butter paper. Uh, my mom, I, I don't know somehow my mom keep all these things for me and become a very precious present for me right now. Then uh, after graduation, I start my 
first job as an uh, design architect in the architect firm in, the, uh, firm, uh, in Penang. But after one year, I found that oh, this is not what I really like to do. Actually, I, I love architecture. I love the design. But uh, you know, an architect practice is more than that. You, you have to face uh, many, many things. And uh, at that time, I also very uh, active participate in an NGO called Nanyang Folk Culture. And my friend, uh, one of the founder of that society, uh, is called Mr. Tanya Wei. He invited me to join his studio. Uh, doing research and also doing design. So I joined him in the year 2001 to 2002. So we do a lot of uh, research project uh, and also message drawing. Uh, I'm not sure whether you, you all heard of the term the message drawing. It's one, one subject in architecture that you have to go to the site to measure uh, old building. So I helped him to do a lot of uh, measure drawing in uh, especially traditional Chinese architecture, uh, like all the temple uh, or old shop houses in Penang. At that time, uh, Penang, the Georgetown still didn't get the status of uh, UNESCO yet. Okay, the man on the left is uh, Tan Yao Wei. Uh, actually, I'm his uh, first uh, worker. Okay, then this is a project, uh, a restoration project of a uh, Chinese uh, Gongxi, uh, not Gongxi, it's called uh, Hokpek Chengxing Temple uh, in Penang. And the man on the right uh, is my teacher. But unfortunately, both of them uh, passed away. I would like to take this opportunity to pay a, a tribute to my late friend, Tanya Wei. He's a very good friend to me. And uh, he in, I think he influenced a lot of uh, people, especially for those uh, doing uh, Chinese heritage or architectural uh, conservation job. Uh, he passed away just recently, and uh, I think he, he gone too soon. After four days of his passing, actually he won an award, the uh, UNESCO uh, Heritage Award of uh, this Tai uh, Pak uh, conservation. To me, yeah, Yao Wei is a true influencer. Uh, he is a very positive man and always uh, good to all his friends. I think uh, many of the architecture student or those uh, lecturer, his friend, uh, when they uh, visit Penang, uh, Yao Wei, they always invite Yao, Mi, Yao Wei to give a guide and Yao Wei never reject. Uh, we are more than 20 years uh, good friend, a lot of good memories. Uh, we travel together, we go sketching, we go travel. This is, uh, we, we like to visit uh, Old Town at, in those days. Uh, and when we have free time, we are driving to visit all those small, small towns in uh, Malaysia. Okay, uh, on the left is Yao Wei, and on the right is Chiang Jin, uh, also a very good friend. Uh, both of us uh, started uh, Urban Sketches Penang. So me and Chiang Jin, uh, the man on the right, is the co-founder of uh, Urban Sketches Penang. Okay, after I, uh, I left Yao Wei studio, actually our relationship not stop. Uh, we become a business partner. We set up a business called uh, Qing Lotus Humanist Space, uh, something like a, a a restaurant and a art and a multifunctional uh, business in Georgetown. So we have a lot of uh, projects together. But uh, at that time, I also set up my own uh, 
graphic design firm. And my focus is on uh, architecture or art and heritage related projects. Okay, as you all may know, I use the name Kaki. Uh, so Kaki creation or Kaki design. Uh, this logo is, uh, is designed by me. Uh, and this consists of my name. Uh, those uh, KK uh, is, uh, is my name. And initially I, I want to do this uh, as architecture and interior design, but <laughs> now it becomes art and illustration. Okay. Uh, I do a lot of branding project also uh, at that time. Uh, this is for Penang government. The Georgetown World Heritage Incorporated uh, logo also was done by me. Yeah, this is a project together with Yaoi, a publication. Uh, he doing all the research and I do, uh, I did the publication design. Okay, after this, uh, I started my art journey. So basically it's uh, from an architect, become a graphic designer, an artist. Uh, I didn't uh, learn uh, any graphic design uh, before that, but uh, I have interest. So I learned while I am practicing together. I always have uh, three dreams. Oh, what? Uh, the first one is a public, uh, so, sorry, is a solo exhibition. To have a solo, ex very first solo exhibition, I think it's a dream for every artist and to publish uh, your own monograph or book and to have your own studio. But I, I would say I'm a lucky person. All these three dreams come true. I have my very first solo exhibition in the year 2000, about 20 years ago. Then uh, I have, I'm very lucky to have my teacher as the opening guest. Okay. Then I actually I'm very active in participating uh, all the exhibition and having a solo exhibition. All this is uh, the invitation design of my solo exhibition. And all this was done by me. Uh, I rarely give to other designers to do my exhibition design because I, I think I know I can handle uh, it well. So until today, I have, uh, if not mistaken, is a 21, 20, 21 solo exhibition till today. That was uh, during my uh, sketch, Penang sketching sketches exhibition in year 2009. After that, I'm starting to travel uh, because of urban sketches. I uh, have the opportunity to travel. Then I also have a, a solo exhibition uh, showing all my travel sketches. Uh, they all, the, my friend also invited me to have an exhibition in Italy uh, during my visit and uh, conducting workshop at that time. I never uh, dreamed that, that one day that I would have a, although it's a, quite a simple exhibition, but uh, it's a very great honor for me to be able to have a exhibition in Italy. And the place was called Napoli on the south part of Italy. Okay. Then I also published uh, my book. Uh, that was my very first book. Uh, during, uh, in conjunction with my uh, solo exhibition called uh, Line, uh, Sketches of Pulopina. Uh, that was the, this was the second book. And uh, sometimes I'll publish a catalog. But yeah, 
all this catalog uh, have a good response and so out I don't have a hard copy uh, for sale anymore. But I converted all my uh, compilation into a free PDF and, and you can download from my website. So my project for this uh, pandemic was to come to able to compile uh, this travel series together uh, all together uh, 18 books so if you uh, are interested you can uh, go to my website to download so all is free in the uh, pdf it is a, a compilation of my travel sketches throughout the year so you can see uh, from europe to uh, southeast asia okay uh, now I have uh, my own studio. I designed it. It's a very small studio. So one part is a, a exhibition space. The next time you uh, happen to be in Penang, uh, welcome to visit. This is an artist studio. Uh, I'm a I'm a person that like to organize and have tidy things. So yeah, probably you will have a surprise. Not not like a normal artist studio that you have everything uh, uh, very. So I still uh, working on some deep. Uh, now I some design project. Like I, I normally every day I will after. I produce all my work. I, I would uh, do a scanning and then uh, I will also take care of my social media and also my website. Okay. Uh, let me talk about how I join urban sketches and all these sketching journey. Yeah, during my high school time, uh, I started uh, sketching Penang. As you can see, all this uh, on the top left, uh, the date is uh, 1998. So at that time, I love using a uh, very simple, uh, very simple tools to sketch. It's just, just a pencil and a sketchbook. But uh, very sad that some of these places that I have sketched is no longer exist. Uh, some due to the development. They tear down and some uh, burn down because of fire. So my sketch actually become a, to me is a, a diary for Penang. Yeah, this is a space that uh, I mentioned before that uh, we used to run a business uh, together with Chang Jin, Yao Wei, and uh, my good friend. So yeah, we the up. Upper part, this is a restoration project done by Tanya Wee Studio. So we convert the upper part into a simple uh, restaurant, and the uh, lower level is an art gallery. And at that time, I managed uh, that gallery. Okay, then uh, I realized that uh, this long horizontal format is uh, very suitable for. Penang, especially the streetscape. So I started using that format uh, in year 2010. And at that time, people start uh, knowing me uh, doing uh, sketching. Other than pencil sketch, I also use uh, Chinese ink. This is a sketch of uh, Georgetown, the moss uh, using tweet and Chinese ink uh, with watercolor. So, yeah, in 2009, uh, one day I Google uh, sketch and urban and, and found this group. Then I very interested in oh, what other people doing in the world, the rest. And I started to apply to join them. And I was very uh, lucky that uh, the committee accept me and uh, asked me to 
as a correspondent for Penang or Malaysia. That's a, how I joined Urban Sketches. So at that time, I also sketched along of, uh, all, all these uh, long horizontal format uh, Penang Sketches. So they, uh, the founder, uh, Gabi, published a book uh, called The Art of Urban Sketching. I think you, you can find this book in uh, all the major uh, bookstores. And they use uh, my Penang sketch on top as the cover. Okay, after I joined uh, Urban Sketches, I have a lot of travel and sharing. That was a sketch in Bali. So I go uh, all over the place uh, from Southeast Asia to Europe. So this, uh, this set is uh, I think mostly is uh, a place in Southeast Asia, like uh, Indonesia, Thailand, and also China. Uh, I have this plans to travel because of they, uh, they invited me to conduct workshop. So I take this opportunity to teach and also uh, to travel. Okay, then uh, when you travel, sometimes uh, you will meet beautiful girl. <laughs> and <laughs> this is uh, during uh, my travel to Taiwan. Okay, okay. Uh, very first sharing uh, with Taiwanese friend about uh, sketching. Okay, and sketching and traveling around the world. Uh, that was uh, my very first uh, visit to Europe. At, at that time, uh, Urban Sketches, they have this uh, annual symposium. And I heard of that, but I have no confidence to apply. But uh, my, my dear friend, uh, Madam Pia, uh, this lady, encouraged me. So I, I applied and they accepted me uh, to conduct a, a dem demo. So that uh, was my very first uh, trip to Europe. At that time, uh, they paid for the travel and accommodation during the symposium, but I, I have to uh, conduct. Otherwise, I, at that time, my financial, uh, I cannot afford. So, yeah, I was very fortunate. Then after that, uh, yeah, many opportunities come. Then I have uh, traveled many times to Europe uh, to teach and workshop. Okay, this is this was uh, at the Notre Dame uh, before burn down. Sometimes uh, me and my friend will have this uh, after the travel, we'll call it exhibition in the hotel room. So we will put together all our sketches in the hotel as a mini exhibition. Okay, and yeah, there's a, we will meet a lot of friends. Uh, for those in architecture or maybe uh, the early uh, architecture uh, interior design field. The guy, this guy on the right hand side, is called Frank Frank Ching. So he's a big name in uh, doing uh, this sketching and produce a lot of uh, architectural illustration books. And uh, this man on my right hand side uh, next to me is uh, the founder of Urban Sketches. Uh, so yeah, Frank invite us uh, to his house for dinner. Yeah, this was uh, during a symposium in a place called Parati in Brazil. Uh, so far, I think this is uh, also Brazil, you know, is a tropical country, but it's very far from uh, Asia. And So we have this symposium in uh, this uh, during summer in uh, Karachi. Okay. Yeah. No matter how far I go, I think Penang is still uh, my favorite sketching location. 
Okay, then I, yeah, this is uh, the end of my uh, sharing. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, KK, for its seminar on my art and sketching journey. And on behalf of Taylor's University uh, Final Year students, we, we, will, we would like to send condolences for your loss, KK. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, you can Google if you are interested in what uh, he did, the Yao Wei did for the bars. Uh, you can Google him. Yeah. What's his uh, full name? Uh, Tan Yao Wei, T A N uh, Y E O W and W O I. But his projects are mostly related to traditional Chinese architecture. I see, I see. And history. Did I spell it right? Can you see? Uh... Uh, yeah, uh, the last is W double O I. Maybe I'll put in the chat room. Um, just to inform um, the participant today, um, we will now have a Q and A, and whoever uh, the first five people who have questions will win a voucher to Yuzu Candles, and Yuzu Candles is a new trendy brand of candles and it's 100% um, hand poured wax and soil wax scented candles. And um, now it's for the Q&A session. So um, does Mr. Razwan have a question? Yeah. Uh, okay. Hi, Kiki. Hi, hi. I try hi. to, sorry, I, I tried to set up the camera, but I don't know, somehow it doesn't work. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, but yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, I think uh, the the last time uh, uh, myself and uh, Romzi, we managed yeah. to meet you in uh, Bali, I guess, uh, was 2019, yeah. uh, at yeah. your workshop. Yeah, that's a very yeah. very fun fun trip. We have a <laughs> the welcoming dinner at at the seaside. That, yes, that, yes, uh, yes. Unforgettable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's a uh, uh, it's very uh, uh, fortunate to to have you here and very honored to have you here uh, to share your 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 artist uh, journey uh, can that could become a, a, an inspiration for all of us. Uh, I don't have a question at the moment, but uh, and I just want to welcome you and uh, uh, thank you again for accepting our students' um, what we call invitation. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, as as usual, uh, we love your 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 drawings and and your ideas for you know for your open sketching and so on. Uh, uh, thank you again for okay. having me. Uh, okay. I I, yeah. I hope uh, my sharing will give the student uh, some inspiration. Probably uh, like myself. Uh, even though I, after my graduate from university, I still very blur. I don't know what uh, I want to do. So I, I, a lot of uh, uncertainty and, uh, but uh, my, my advice is just, just do it. Uh, learn from mistakes, uh, learn from others. Then uh, one day I'm sure you, you will find your own path. And this is very important. Yeah. Looking, looking at your 21 uh, uh, solo exhibition, I don't think so, there's a mistake over there. So <laughs> it should be a, a, a very well uh, inspired uh, and for us uh, and so on. Does Mr. Romsey have uh, any questions or statement? Uh, yes, KK, thank you for joining us today. Uh, can you tell us a bit about uh, something, uh, you know, something behind the scene? What are the uh, challenges and uh, difficulties that you had, probably in the earlier uh, stage of the uh, career progression, uh, and probably uh, you know uh, whether the the challenges and uh, difficulties uh, are still there uh, at this stage of career uh, progression? Okay, 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 yeah. Uh... My, my 
uh, as I mentioned just now, my very first job was uh, an architect. So this is uh, to me is a normal architecture career that uh, yeah you can have a secure pay, uh, secure salary, <laughs> and uh, if you manage to uh, get your part three, you can find and. Uh, to many people, this is a, I think it's a very good job. But I somehow I, I found that this is a, not what I want to do, especially the dealing with uh, the local council. I hate all <laughs> those things. Yeah. But I, I love architecture, I love design. This is no doubt. So yeah, I started to uh, take a move to join my friend. So at that time, Yao Wei. Uh, although his the pay is uh, I would say is not so so, but uh, yeah, he his knowledge and his uh, uh, his I mean, uh, he, his teaching uh, to me is uh, much more important, and I have the chance to climb up to all this uh, rooftop of uh, the temple. You have different view, and you started. Uh, I started to understand what mm -hmm. is real architecture, what is uh, how the craftsmen or the builders built in this way, what is the story behind, what is the, the beauty of architecture in real, in real uh, I mean the traditional architecture. So to me, uh, many people should, should will ask right, why you uh, give, give up a, a good job and Doing all this, uh, uh, you have to do measure drawing uh, in the hot sun, under hot sun, uh, a lot of tough uh, project. At that time, uh, the computer era is still uh, very early. So every measure drawing, uh, we have to take a picture in the, <laughs> those uh, traditional format, print out the photo, and then scanning, and then trace. <laughs> uh, by using yes. AutoCAD, that's a very, very tedious job. <laughs> so, yeah, but to me, I, I learned a lot. But now, yeah, with the computer and 3D modeling, everything becomes easy. But 20 years ago, it's uh, quite tough. Yes. And <laughs> after that, uh, yeah, I started my own graphic design. From the reason I start this, uh, designing firm is because during my architecture study, I love uh, the final presentation uh, uh, to what to present your uh, design, your architectural design in a very graphic way. So I have some knowledge of using Corel Draw. So, so yeah, so that's why it made me uh, starting my uh, own studio, graphic design studio firm, and I learned while practicing. So, but uh, yeah, I'm lucky that I managed to survive for 13 years. <laughs> then after that, I decided, okay, no more client. I am uh, the only client is myself. <laughs> so yeah, I turned into a full-time artist. I do a lot of uh, commercial project. Yeah. So at that time, the challenge to me uh, to manage uh, even a small studio firm or a solo studio firm is uh, how do you make balance? And to me, designing is uh, to you have to take care of you know, what is your client and help them to uh, give us their solution. So it's not like you want to make a beautiful thing, but uh, to to me. Design is a solution. Yeah. Then uh, after this, uh, now uh, I'm a full time artist. I think uh, the biggest challenge, okay, in two parts. Uh, one is the management. Okay, uh, there's a the, in the real life. Uh, you have to you have bill to pay. So mm -hmm. how you control uh, the financial part is one thing. So the other part is the art. Uh, I always, uh, when I have a certain, uh, uh, like for example, uh, people will know me because of my tweet sketch. 
and I think I went up to a certain uh, level, I am not happy. I always look for something else. Mm. So keep on, keep on moving things. So that's uh, to me that that's the challenge. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah, KK, a short one from me. Uh, when you uh, when you start sketching, when you look into a, a building or an object, what are what are the things that you are actually see uh, in in that particular uh, object, KK? And 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 uh, what are you trying to find in that particular object? Okay, uh, that's a very interesting. Uh, yeah, many people ask me. I'm a trained architect uh, and my uh, architectural background. So yeah, what in my eye, uh, I, I would say I have two parts. Uh, one is the architectural way of seeing the building. The other mm -hmm. part is uh, the artistic, artistic part. And I, I don't uh, convert what I see uh, fully into architecture. Uh, I will somehow, uh, Add it in a, in an artistic way. Oh, um, I love a uh, traditional Chinese painting. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, the Chinese painting. Uh, one of the concept is living white space. So yeah, normally in my sketch, then I will start to uh, find the rhythm in what I see. Oh, the rhythm can be yeah, in the like all those uh, architectural language uh, repetition. Uh, the balance and all this. Then, yeah, when I convert it into my sketch, I will always uh, try to the, the rhythm is a uh, will become uh, the first thing uh, in my mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, leaving a uh, leaving white space and uh, the right time to, to stop. Okay, uh, KK. Um, I I I I love your work because uh when 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 we see your work and then when we saw your your workshop and your demonstration uh, there's a lot of uh, honesty and, and sincerity in terms of uh, you know what you do and so on because you are you are never to uh, want to impress everyone that's around you but then you're doing it because because the way you see it and and even even though for today's uh, invitation uh, you 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 somehow rather accept uh, the student's invitation, you know, without uh, you know without asking for 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 a lot of other things. That's why we somehow rather uh, we are inspired because of your honesty and your sincerity in in terms of producing your work. Uh, uh, that what makes us uh, you know uh, uh, want to call you and 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 you know. And can can you describe how how that uh, has uh, become your uh, a part of your life and uh, spontaneously uh, creating uh, wonderful works? Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I uh, at first uh, when when Leon uh, wrote to me, he, he asked me to conduct a workshop, but I think uh, I'm I'm not very good at all these technical things. Yeah, so I I would say. And why not I share I, my experience uh, with the students? Uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Rajon, I, I very agree with you. Uh, sincere is uh, one of the most important things when you produce your work. People can see, see it. Uh, not only your sketching, I think in your design or in your career, this is very important. You must have a very uh, a true heart for all your projects. Uh, like my mentor, uh, Yao Wei, I always, uh, he is always uh, know what he want to do. And he's very sincere. Okay. Uh, like I uh, mentioned uh, before that in my slide, I am a Chinese educator and my English is so-so uh, <laughs> to me. Uh, but yeah, at first I have no confidence doing public speaking and uh, or, or sharing, especially with uh, in Europe and all this uh, yeah, English speaking. Uh. But after that, I, I, when I try, then people 
I noticed that the people respect you, not because of your language, but of course you, you need to communicate with them. But your, your heart, your sincere heart, and uh, the way you want to share uh, your knowledge, uh, uh, I think that people will touch by them, by that thing. So yeah, sharing, to me, sharing is also a learning. When you share with the knowledge with others, then people will give you feedback and you learn and you also grow. So yeah, I uh, like me, my myself is a very shy guy. And uh, but I, I would encourage the young generation to uh, voice up and show your uh, interest in your future job. Okay, thank you. Um, I have a question. With all of your drawings um, that I've looked through and the one that you showed me today, what, what type of uh, message are you trying to portray through your drawings? Okay, I, uh, I have uh, for, I have many uh, period and, and I how to say uh, is uh, like before the pandemic I, I have the chance to travel and uh, doing outdoor sketching uh, or urban sketches. Uh, initially, I want to show uh, that uh, the place I born or I live for 30 or 40 years in Nang, to the world that, okay, this is a lovely place. So I, I record uh, through uh, the changing, the, the changing face of the Nang uh, through my sketches. So yeah, that, that, at that time it's very simple. I, I just, I didn't think of any other <laughs> big dreams, but yeah, I want to show uh, yeah, how, how Penang looked in an uh, sketches artist to a sketches artist time. Then uh, during the pandemic, I, I cannot travel and the on location uh, sketching uh, activity also stopped. Then I started to go into nature. Yeah. And when I have chance uh, to uh, have a walking in my neighborhood or Penang Botanical Garden, and I found that yeah, nature is the other uh, is a uh, very good teacher that I can learn. So I did a lot of uh, botanical uh, sketches. Then I started to think of how can I uh, did this subject in a contemporary Chinese uh, painting method. So I I don't like a traditional way of uh, Chinese painting. Uh, but uh, I try to convert it into a very modern and contemporary one. So yeah, this is uh, my exploring until today. I've seen your animal series. Uh, are you very selective when you when you do when you do buildings or when you do? Or when you do your animal series, or are you, do you just show how you feel and what you think about the the certain object? Uh, okay. First thing, uh, for architectural part, uh, I still prefer uh, sketching on location. Means I I need to go to the place. I have to feel the space. So, and so when uh you go on the actual sites. Side, then you have the uh, the feeling, so that's uh, very important and it's become my very first choice. I seldom based uh, sketch based uh, for architectural uh, I mean uh, for architectural subject uh, based on a photo. Okay, then uh, for the botanic and uh, the animal or the uh, little insect series. I always uh, 
the first thing come to my mind is I have to, I have seen this the in real before. So I normally I will sketch based on uh, my photograph or, or either doing on location sketch of the botanic subject or if the animal or insect, then I will take photograph and study them and convert it into my work. So like this, I have the understanding of how uh, the animal or the, the structure or the uh, anatomy look like. So I always, uh, my subject is always uh, simple things uh, in my daily life or in my surroundings. Okay. Um, we would like to have uh, one more question by our participant today. Uh, mm -hmm. to move on. Um, anyone? Uh, hello, Mr. KK. Hi. Hi, I'm Celeste. I have a question because you said you write about like Chinese architecture and all those architecture in Georgetown, town, but I, I love Penang as well. But whenever I go to Penang, like, is there any, can you teach us like what to appreciate when we really exploring the heritage building? Because like for us, we are lack of the experience and knowledge. So is there any ways like, can, uh, like you can teach us to see through uh, like more like detailed eyes. And my second question is, because like when we're talking about heritage building in Malaysia, we always think of Penang and Malacca. Is there any other township you think that every Malaysian should be visiting? Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. Very, very good question. Okay, for uh, Penang, if next time you have the chance or you have a group visit to Penang, maybe you can go to uh, Georgetown World Heritage Incorporated Office. Uh, they have some uh, information there. Okay, uh, I will focus uh, your question in traditional Chinese architecture. Like, for example, uh, the traditional Chinese architecture in Penang, you have se several categories. So uh, not all are temple. They have this, uh, the old association, uh, although they look like a temple, but it's not, uh, the function is not temple. So in terms of fun function, uh, function uh, there are several types uh, of uh, traditional Chinese architecture in Penang. So one is temple, one is the clan house, and also some other uh, function that the, uh, like those are the carpenters guild. So if you understand or you have some knowledge, then uh, yeah, you will find uh, joy when you visit them. Okay, the other thing is uh, when you look in, uh, go into a Chinese temple or a heritage, uh, because I, I, okay, my knowledge, I, I only uh, know a little bit of this Chinese architecture. I'm not the expert. Uh, when you enter a, traditional Chinese temple or then, yeah, that's uh, the space divided into several functions, like the front door and then uh, center courtyard and the main uh, altar at the back. Then uh, the other thing you can look is uh, the ornament or the sculpture. Uh, Normally in Chinese architecture, they have this uh, very beautiful wood carving and stone carving. Like for example, in Ku Gong Si, uh, one of the most beautiful temple in uh, Penang or even in Southeast Asia. Yeah. If you study the stone carving or wood carving, is to me, this is already a, an art piece. You know? So there, there's a sculpture on the building. Then uh, in terms of uh, structural, that one, if you have the chance to do metric drawing, then you will understand how they built this uh, traditional Chinese architecture in, in that way, not like our modern way using uh, concrete. And, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, did I answer your question? Yes, yes. 
uh, my second question is any other town we should visit in Malaysia other than Malacca and Penang, you think, because you travel so many places. Yeah, to me, I, I, I love to visit all these small towns like uh, Lembing and all those uh, when you uh, go all the way from, uh, on, from the north to the south, uh, try to go to the small town that uh, to me, the, the, the simple architecture, like the traditional uh, wooden shop houses, if uh, they still left or not because of the problem, uh, is also a source of study. And uh, you can be seen as uh, in terms of how the town developed and the planning of the town. So we have many, many other, I also cannot name everything, like, uh, Nelumbing, Papang, uh, yeah, along all this uh, Taiping. Taiping, of course, a little bit bigger than Hapa. So, and also on the East Coast. Kuala Tungalu, I also went there many years ago, and uh, I am very impressed uh, with the uh, traditional Malay uh, house and uh, the boat building uh, industry. Okay, thank you for your answer. Thank you. Uh, what, what is your next project, KK? Uh, <laughs> next project, I so far nothing planned yet, but uh, an invitation uh, also not confirmed uh, to conduct a workshop in Switzerland. But uh, yeah, this is a, now everything is. Uh, Uncertainty, <coughs> we also don't know. But uh, for my side, I um, will continue uh, exploring of the uh, traditional uh, contemporary Chinese painting method. Uh, if you uh, follow my Instagram <coughs> or yeah, my recent work, I work a lot of with uh, watercolor graphite. So it's a, a kind of a liquid pencil, and you can use your brush to paint. Okay, we uh, we are very proud of your uh, solo exhibition in Milan. We we tumpang gembira, eh, KK. Uh, you have been traveling a lot. I mean, uh, all over the world on, on uh, sketching and everything, KK. Do you find uh, any you know uh, distinctive uh, uh, character or style uh, from a different part of the region, different part of the region in the world? Okay. Yeah. Hi. Of course, uh, uh, in terms of architecture, it, they are different. But uh, mm -hmm. I, to me, when I have the chance to travel to all this uh, place uh, in Europe or you know, also in other 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 place places uh, other than our own country, mm -hmm. I will. Of, of course, I, I will appreciate the uh, great architecture. But I will also ask myself. Uh, the my hometown uh, from if I from the other side uh, uh, how would I see actually I I, I will compare that mm -hmm. uh, what uh, in our country is uh, maybe is uh, is maybe better or even better than others mm -hmm. so it is a way for you to we look at the place you familiar with. Okay. Basically, you need to uh, revisit eh, uh, from time to time, eh, KK. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so every uh, every visit or every travel is a learning. Ah, yeah. oh, I see. When right. we we and uh, it's also open up your eyes. Uh, you know. Uh, we are like what uh, I'm lack of and uh, mm. what I need to improve. So I need to improve my <laughs> technical skill. Yesterday I, I have a test. I have this uh, uh, test with my wife and it's, everything is okay, but I don't know somehow maybe I cannot, <laughs> the video doesn't work. Yeah, it was uh, it was fine during the test uh, the test uh, session. <laughs> 
but never mind. Okay, I. <laughs> okay. Um. Thank you so much, uh, KK, for coming in today. Um. Right now, uh, we'll, we'll be entering to our giveaway portion. Um, Mr. Romzi, uh, Mr. Uh, Razwan, uh, you'll be receiving a voucher, uh, as well as Celeste will be receiving a voucher um, on scented candles. Um, we're now going to have a break and we'll be returning to um, idea, Mr. Joe. Um, KK is willing to join us for our second session of the with a selfie. Uh, I know um, KK cannot open his uh, video, so we will have a, um, maybe we can Photoshop his photo in and, uh, and uh, we'll call it that he was uh, present. Uh, uh, I, I can I try to join by using my phone. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, probably that, that can work. Yep. One, one moment. Uh, everyone, sh uh, if they're possible, op open the uh, uh, video and then we can uh, take a selfie with. Yes, thank you, everyone. Yeah. Uh, We can we can we can see your your um setup at home um KK. <laughs> uh, how to reverse the camera? Uh, you you double tap if or, or is there a is there a switch button? Uh, I, is there is there a switch button that you can press uh for? To, to turn the phone. Yeah, I, I double tap on your screen. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Ah, there <laughs> you go. Okay. <laughs> I turned my camera. <laughs> on account of three, we will all smile. Uh. Okay, uh, okay yeah. can all of you open your, your camera? Uh, you have to remember this is a moment whereby uh, uh, in the near future, Mr. KK is going to be a millionaire. Uh, this is the time. <laughs> Where you have to, to remember that you know you have a, a selfie with a millionaire, painter, artist, architect, and so on. So just enjoy the moment, live life. Okay, uh, I'm on on a count of three. We will take the uh, screenshot. Okay, uh, okay. selfie. One, two, three. Smile. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, um, KK, for joining us today, uh, and inspire us with your journey. And I, I honestly took some value out of it. Um, thank you very much for coming. You, you can join us for uh, the second uh, session of our um, talk series, which is starts at two. Uh, if you're not, if you're available. Um, yeah, um, so everyone, we're on a break right now and um, we'll be back at two. All right, thank, 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 thank you, KK. Thank you, thank thank you, you KK. and uh, have a good day. Yeah, hope, and, hopefully, uh, to see you around in uh, somewhere in Penang or some urban sketches symposium. Hopefully, yeah, come to visit me in my studio. Okay, yeah, all right, all right, that would be great. Yeah, and all, all the right. students, all the best yeah, in your future. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Thank, you. Thank you. Bye. So, Rizwan, bila kita nak give